Hello everyone, happy Sunday to you today. Hope you are all doing well on this fine Sunday. Today I am talking to you about making bad purchases good again and a little bit about shopping your own closet because I talk about that a lot in my videos that before we go shopping we shop our own closet first. So we're going to get into that today and I'm going to style a dress I haven't worn uh, several different ways for you so that you can see how it is possible to revive clothing that you don't wear anymore. My name is Lisa Marie Armstrong, sustainable stylist, mindset shifter, and founder of the Sustainable Style Academy, where I help overwhelmed closet owners transform into sustainable style champions. So you know how it is. You go to do a closet clean out to, and sort through your stuff and find these things that you've hardly ever worn before. I have some of those things in my closet. Some of them are still hanging out in there because I just can't quite get rid of them yet. I'm sure you know that feeling, right? Today, I'm going to talk to you about this particular dress. Are you familiar with the situation where you walk into a store spontaneously and then just kind of buy something because you fall in love with it right then and there at the store? This was kind of one of those purchases. I had seen the advertisements for this dress and for this print, actually. It was the print I was after. Um, about a week before I actually bought it, it is an H&M dress. It's an H&M dress from um, several years back. I don't know, I can't remember. Time flies by really fast for me, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but it was a design collaboration with a company called Morris & Co. Who, they're a UK company and they're really famous for their prints. And I happen to just adore this print. The problem was I bought it without trying the dress on. I just bought it and took it home. And I had been on vacation in Germany. So I bought it in Germany. I couldn't return it in Switzerland. And um, ended up hanging on to it for years. I have worn it, I have, but I felt like it never quite suited me exactly and maybe it's because I didn't take enough time to actually go and try things on with it. Like I was always, I'd always get distracted by something else in my closet and then this would just stay hanging in the back of the closet. So I know from my own clients that they have the same problem. They find things that they think they like and then oh, maybe it's not quite exactly right. So today we're gonna work on that and show you how you can shop your own closet to make a bad buy good again. Since my closet space and my house is really oddly shaped, it's very difficult for me to do one of these types of videos actually in my closet. So what I've done is I pulled some of the things out that I have that I think would look good with it and we're gonna try it from there. So I have a pile of sweaters that I think might go color wise okay with the dress. I also have a variety of coats and blazers and um, several different kinds of boots and shoes. At the time of this filming it is going into it's winter in Switzerland so I want something that's kind of warm and not too cool. Anyways, let's get on with trying things on. So here I am in the dress with shoes on that I wouldn't wear with the dress, but you see how it's fully buttoned to the top. It is quite wide in its cut and multi-tiered, which I like. I do like flouncy skirts. And the other thing, which is always unfortunately a problem for me, is that the sleeves are just a tick too short. Had they only just been a couple centimeters longer, that would have probably made me happier as well. But since I can't do anything about that, they're just gonna have to be three quarter length sleeves on me. And that's okay. I can always add some bracelets and things like that to help make it a little bit more 
I don't know, filled there or a big ring. So as it is, it's not exactly my favorite. It's a lot of print. And while I'm not opposed to print because he, he, my summer wardrobe is just loaded with print, um, in the winter time, I'm usually a little bit more subdued and a little bit more minimalistic in my dressing. Um, but I want this to work for winter because I think the colors are really interesting. And so we're going to see what we can do about it. First of all, I want to cinch the waist in a little bit because I feel like the waist is just a little too wide. If I were just to wear this dress like this, I find it just hangs more like a sack. So I prefer to cinch my, my dresses in. So I found a plethora of belts to help me do that. Many of them, like there's gold and there's silver tones to it, which is totally fine because this dress has both warm and cool tones in it, which makes it very versatile in that respect when it comes to styling metallic tones. So it's not really gonna matter so much what color my belt buckle is, but, um, but I can definitely make a difference in the shape of the dress by adding a belt. So as you can see, just by belting this dress, I've already created a slimmer waistline. It's no longer so bulky and it can, it has a little bit more of a feminine and classy feel to it, I think. I've also added um, a very long pair of knee-high cognac colored boots that I just adore. These are such a flexible piece that can be mixed in so many ways, which you were gonna see later on in this video. And the other thing then that I can do is I can add jackets and other different types of things on top of this to give it an even more interesting look. So for instance, I could do a white blazer. Yes, it's winter time, but the white blazer is an all-rounder piece. They're not just reserved for the summer. So can create an interesting look. with a white blazer. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to look out for is what kind of coat would go with your dress or with your outfit that you're trying to revive. For me, I decided for my long coat versions, I have two here that, let's see, two, yes. Two long coats that I have that I'm gonna show you. One of them, which is also a print, and print mixing is one of those things you gotta kind of get a feel for. It's, it's, it's clashing and matching both at the same time, if that makes any sense. So what I do is when I'm going to print mix, I look for something busy and something geometrical to combine. And then I also look for complementary like color schemes. So we have some greens in there. We have some yellows. This yellow, I think, is the one that really, really ties it in, which makes it work. And it does. You can make this one work and it's very poppy. It's very, um, yeah, it's very fashion forward. The other thing that you can do is instead of wearing jackets and coats and things over it, or you can, it depends on whatever your weather is, you can top it with a sweater, which is great because then it's not looking like a dress anymore, but a really cool skirt. So here I have a sweater on with the boots and I took the belt off, but it's great because the sweater compresses all the fabric and gives me then more shape, more form. So you can use a tight fitting sweater to give you extra figure. You can use a looser fitting sweater to give a more relaxed and more, more baggy look. 
I particularly love this one because of its details, being able to see the dress still through it, which I think is really cool. It helps to really tie it together beautifully. And on top of that, then I can add coats and jewelry and things like that to help spice up the look a little bit. With a coat like this, it's a little bit more autumn and also a little bit toned down in terms of print. And with this coat, it's a little bit more eclectic, a little bit more fashion forward with its print mix. But as you see, we have the colors of the red tying in together and the colors of the gold tying in together. So it really, really works as a print combination. So let's go through a few looks now and see what we can do with this dress. So which looks did you like the best? I would love to know. Go ahead and comment below on which ones you like the most. So I hope this gives you a little more inspiration on how you can also go into your own closets and try on different combinations. As you can see, it's a matter of thinking outside the box a little bit, not just settling for the same old, same old things that you always pick, but actually diving a little bit deeper into your closet to go and find those pieces that work together with the outfit that you're trying to revive. And this also goes for when you're wishing to have something new. You go in and you shop your own closet first. And that is what I mean. You go in and you try on all kinds of crazy combinations. Think outside the box, as I said, and try to find things that make you feel really good. And I have to say, today has been such a great experiment for me because I've just found, I think, a new favorite dress. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to wearing this. You might see it in some other videos coming soon. So go ahead, please, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please make sure to check out my social media feeds because I do go live on those every once in a while. I, you can find me at Sustainable Style Academy and at lisa.marie.armstrong. They're both in the show notes, both of those handles. And don't forget to grab your copy of The Sparkling Green Closet, my ebook that helps you to spark your transition to a sustainable wardrobe. I teach you all kinds of things in that book and help you to learn to build better wardrobes. Anyways, take care. I'll see you next Sunday and have a fantastic week. Bye.